Nowadays, some bathroom scales do more than just measure your weight. It can also measure your body fat percentage and body water percentage. This is known as bioelectric impedance analysis. So how do they do that? Basically, the scale sends a small electric signal through your body and measures the resistance of your body. Don't worry, the electricity will not shock you. Fat tends to have higher resistance than muscles, so the scale can estimate the percentage of body fat from the resistance it measures. And because most water is stored in muscles, the scale can also estimate your water content. In general, the resistance of a substance depends on the resistivity of the materials, in a formula like this, where L is a length and A is a cross-sectional area. We can see that conductors such as silver and copper have low resistivity, whereas insulators such as plastic and air have high resistivity. That is why electric cables are typically made with copper wires, so that resistance and power loss can be reduced. This is also the reason why thicker cables are usually used for appliances that draw larger amount of current, like an electric heater, because thicker wires with larger cross-sectional areas have lower resistance. So you may ask, is resistance of a given wire constant? Let us see this experiment. We have a coil of wire connected to a multimeter and the resistance is 3.1 ohm. When we heat up the wire, the resistance increases. And when it cools down, the resistance drops. In general, resistance of a material is a function of temperature. For most materials, resistivity increases with temperature. If the temperature range is small, resistivity can be considered as linear with temperature. We can find in the market thermometers known as resistance temperature detectors, RTD, that uses this phenomenon to measure temperature up to about 500 degrees Celsius. The temperature effect also explains why if you have a 40 watt, 220 volt incandescent light bulb, the calculated resistance of it is 1,210 ohm. But if you actually measure the resistance of it with a multimeter, its resistance is only about 108 ohm. This is because what we measure here is the resistance of the tungsten wire at room temperature. But when the light bulb is turned on, the tungsten wire heats up and the resistivity increased by 12 times, going from room temperature to about 2,100 degrees Celsius. After seeing this video, you're probably still worried about your body fat level, but maybe you can take comfort to know that your body fat level will probably be lower in the winter time because resistance is lower at lower temperature. Or maybe not.